I'm by myself today because I kind of didn't want to do makeup. <laughs> so I'm by myself today because um, Francia had a surgery and she is, well, resting. Um, she's going to do a video about that later. But um, yeah. So I'm by myself today and I was, I was thinking of like showing you guys like I posted on Instagram uh, the makeup look that I made that I had for Christmas and I wanted to like make a small not small make a YouTube tutorial on how I did the makeup um, so yeah so the look I'm going to be creating today is this one Ooh. Okay. Whatever. Um, so it's like the pinkish purple and then a uh, blue pinkish purple cut crease and then blue I don't know I don't know makeup terms but yeah so ignore my face I like with all the food that I've been eating for Christmas like I'm breaking out but whatever um, okay, so I got my hair in a ponytail and cat ears that I found laying around <laughs> to hold my hair back. Um, so first we are going to moisturize with Shay, Shy, I don't know, Rita and Company New Zealand Neutrals, um, Chai Seed, Chia Seed, whatever oil day cream so first I'm gonna moisturize with that I don't like using a lot because if I use too much my face is gonna get super oily I just moisturize to like keep my face from keep the makeup from drying out my face and you know I don't know oh my god this smells so good it smells like perfume and we don't want to overstretch the face because then you get wrinkles supposedly I don't know I heard that I heard a, a guru say that I don't know <laughs> Oh my god, we're super zoomed in. You can see all my... Ew, okay. Anyways, moving on. Um, so yeah, we moisturize. And then apparently we have to prime like... I don't know. I don't understand why we have to prime after we moisturize our face. But that's what we do. So... Oh, okay, so I am using this face primer from Forever 21. It's like real old. <laughs> I've had it for like a long time. Well, okay, it's not real old. Because I, got like, I don't even know where I got it. It's still good, I guess. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, keep in mind that your makeup's can and do expire so like you have to look at the expiration dates on that but I, I, I'm fairly certain this isn't expired yet because I didn't get it that long ago so so yeah hello in my face I should probably be looking at the mirror and not the camera because I get confused. Why is my ring Okay, it's really good. My dog is walking around the room like. My face looks super gross. <laughs> Don't eat too much on Christmas. Your face is gonna get 
gross. Um, anyways, so we're done priming, I think. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> so next is foundation. I don't remember where the heck I put my foundation. Oh, it's over here. Okay. It's very weird. Like, that's not my foundation. Um, it's very weird doing a make, uh, like doing a video by myself. Cause like, I'm literally just talking to myself. There's nobody there yet. <laughs> um. So. So yeah. Um. So I have my kind of gross. <laughs> <laughs> we have my, my wet beauty blender and it's fairly new I just I don't know how to wash beauty blenders so they're so <laughs> uh so yeah so I have my beauty blender and I'm gonna do that I'm a, you know what you you know what foundation does okay oh wait it's a <laughs> it's True Match by L'Oreal Paris. It's in the shade Warm. I'm apparently I'm lighter than I thought I was, so you know, whatever. Hopefully that this will improve because like our channel is supposedly like makeup related and well all we've done is like review makeup and then a bunch of other stuff talking. Okay. I like to put foundation on my eyes because like it gives a good base when we're going in with the eyeshadow. And like I have this scar like before I used to put like a crap ton of foundation. Like you can't see it that much anymore on camera. But like I have this scar right here. And there's an interesting story to that scar. But anyways, like I, I used to um like just pat a bunch of foundation there trying to hide it but now I'm just like oh I don't care it's a scar that I have and it's a funny story so like show it so that people can be like what was that and then I can tell my story but the story is that when I was a kid for some reason a lot of my friends were like boys um and I was playing a game with with one of my friends and I don't, I, I don't remember what the game was, but apparently, like, he got to win to the game. And, like, he picked up a rock and thought it was a good idea to throw it at my face. <laughs> so, he picked up a big rock, threw it at my face, and then I had a big, a big bump right there for a couple days. And then it went down, and it turned into a scar. Fun. It hurt a lot. <laughs> so yeah, that's my story. Let's see, do I have any more funny childhood stories? I'm usually pretty good 
I'm remembering like stories and things. because my eyebrows are fairly like dark and like the person who does my eyebrows does a good job making them even but I have this thing called um, dermatographism where like my skin is extremely sensitive where even like a scratch will leave a mark as if like I was mauled by a lion and like before, I just thought that I was like scratching really hard and not realizing it. But no, I have dermatographism. So like literally any little thing will leave a mark on my face. So like when I do, when I do my eye, like my eyebrows, they get super swollen and I get a red unibrow and then I break out if I don't wash my face like right after it so yeah that's why my eyebrows are breaking out and then my face is breaking out because is is Christmas and you eat a lot of junk on Christmas and I have no shame in admitting that I eat a lot of junk on Christmas because food is great I didn't blend under my neck but this I'm not going anywhere. This is just for the YouTube because we need to post something and and here we are. Me doing a video by myself. Why why every time someone's doing their makeup, like literally it's <laughs> it's super dumb, like but it helps because like it stretches it stretches whatever part you're trying to reach. Like we go yeah. It stretches like right here. And like you can reach under your eye. But it's like super dumb. I use concealer to like the homeless. Oop, I forgot a spot. Like there's no like with concealer I feel like there's there's no need for position. Per, per, for there's no need to be precise <laughs> there's no need to be precise because you're literally just gonna blend it out so like <clears throat> so now that we are all done with our concealer and our foundation I like to like go over my face with a like with um, a blush brush. <laughs> um, I like to go over with, uh, with my blush brush and then uh, go over my face with a powder foundation by Fit Me Maybelline um, in, I don't know what shade this is, it's, it's, it's that, yes. And then you can see right here the number 235 whatever that means but yeah so I go over whoop, I go over my face with that and as much as I want to break into my brushes that we got for Christmas check that video somewhere it's gonna either be in that corner or down below um, as much as I want to break into my new brush kit that I got for Christmas, a new brush kit, um, I don't want to like mix foundation and blush together right now. So I'm going to go 
I'm gonna go in with my, if I can get into it, I'm gonna go in with my chic, ooh, ooh, this is hard, okay, this is super hard, all right, um, my chic powder brush that I got in five and below, is it? It's cute. It came with a, a little carry bag. A little carry bag. There's only one brush in there because I'm a mess. Um, but yeah. So we'll go into. Don't go hard. <laughs> so I like going into this powder foundation and just like going over my face so that my face isn't so shiny and like kind of ties in all my colors. It ties in the correct colors. That's what I'm trying to say. I don't talk, speak good. I know good speak. What the hell am I saying? I don't know anymore. I feel like I'm going crazy because I'm talking to myself. Yeah. Like in other videos, I'm talking to, to my friends. I mean, not my friend. I'm talking to my co worker. <laughs> yeah. But now I'm just talking to myself. Fun. That's great. Why does it look like. I'm smiling sideways. Whatever. I'm a very weird person, so like, yeah. Okay, well, I think that's good. Everything looks even. Okay. I see you. Oh, I like, so, I, we got this in Romwe and like, I haven't taken it off. <laughs> well, obviously I have, but like, I've been wearing it all the time and I'm okay with that. Okay, so now, we're gonna go in with the eye look, the like, the most important part of this video, like the whole reason I'm making this video. Anyways, so I'm getting, I'm using this Midnight Masquerade by Purr. I'm, I believe this is a, a boxy charm um, brand or like makeup line. Uh, but yeah, it's Midnight Masquerade, and honestly, it's one of my favorites. It's it's super nice, like, I love the colors. It does have, have, it does have, it does have a lot of uh, fallout at times, but like, I don't really mind, like, fallout can be cleaned out, so like, whatever. So, this is what the palette looks like. I am going to be using um, I'm going to be using this color, Ooh, that color right there, I'm going to be using this, this color down here, I'm going to be using this blue and this purple for the look we're going to do. Um, so yeah, into the color Hidden Secret. The, the pink one I showed you. Ooh, ooh, ooh. This one, right? This one right here. And I'm gonna be putting that on my crease and like a little bit on my brow bone. So yeah. I know 
out is that a lot of beauty gurus like do one eye on camera and then they'll do the other one off but like I'll just do both sides because then I'll forget like what I did with one side like maybe like I'll add a little extra on this side and then like when I'm doing this side I'm like what the hell did I do so I just do them at the same time so like yeah So, we did the pink. So, I'm gonna take the. Whoa. Whoa. That one. It's hard to work backwards. I'm gonna be taking this one down. That one down here. Yeah. And then putting that in my crease. And then we are going to go in with disguise. Ooh, hold on. We're gonna go in with disguise. This one, this purple shade right here. This whole palette is kind of sparkly. The only one that is not sparkly is this brown one right here. Ooh, ooh, brown one right here. But like, sparkle never hurts. previous shade you use, the reveal one, and then blend that into the pink. You see how I'm getting like a crap ton of fallout right there. But that's easy, that's an easy fix later. Don't worry about that later. Yeah, so see? I just finished oop, wrong eye. I just finished adding the purple to this eye. So, yeah, the purple on this side, now we're gonna do the same thing on the other side.
fallout right here. But that sounded so southern there. Anyways, oh uh, yeah, we have a little fallout right there, so we'll just take care of that later. Um, so we are done with the purples. Now we're gonna add the blue in on the lid. So we are gonna go. We're gonna go with showtime. Showtime. It's like a sparkly blue. Like you don't have to. Like I said, you don't have to use sparkle, sparkly colors. But the only blue I had. So that's what we're going to juice. Awesome. So now brush which has that kind of point right there to add some color to the bottom of my eye. So we're gonna go in with that first color that that first color that we picked right here. We're gonna add that to the bottom. Alright, so we're done with the eyeshadow palette. Now I want to go in because I'm going to be using fake lashes in this look. I want to go in and line the top of my eyes with a eyeliner. Specifically, I'm using a stick. I'm using a thick eyeliner by John Tableau. <laughs> it sounds French, but uh, it's Ultra Lasting Formula um, by Professional Art Makeup Liquid Liner 24 Hours. I don't know if you can see that. Juna Blue. So, so yeah, it, and it's this very thick felted. I don't know. Felt tip. I don't know. I don't know. Whatever. Um, so it's very thick, and like, or you can make it. Very thin. So yeah. But it doesn't go the thinnest lines, but whatever. Okay. So I'm just gonna line the top of my eye.
I'm surprised I was able to do that. Hey, where did Cap go? Fuck that. All right. So next is the eyelashes. I find putting on eyelashes to be very hard. I told you I was gonna break into this fairly soon. If you haven't seen that video where we showed off what we got, then you should go check it out. I know Francia was with me in that video, but she started not feeling well. So, yeah. But look at these lashes. We are probably either going to do this one or these. These are thicker and then these are like kind of sparse, 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 sparse. So, okay, so I am putting lash glue that I bought from the drugstore or like whatever. Um, it's called Strip Lashes Adhesive with aloe and I like this one because like you can like if there's a mess of glue you can just like literally scratch it off or something and then like it won't ruin the eye look or whatever it's nice but I wish it was a brush because like it comes out and like it comes out in like a little Ooh, trying to make a mess uh, squeeze Like to do your makeup you have to set aside like time like an hour to be able to do it oh my god this is harder than I expected it to be but on um, oh my gosh Like my lashes, my, my lashes, my lashes are naturally super curled. So like putting on fake eyelashes is kind of difficult. Cause I have to like come in at an angle. And like you usually, you usually have to cut the eyelash. Ooh. You usually have to cut the eyelashes to your proper eye size, but I have big eyes, I guess. I don't cut my lashes. That's one of them on. It's not properly glued on the corner, but. I gave up, it's only for a video. <laughs> so yeah, and then let me get the other one on and then we'll do blush, highlight, and lips. So, moving on from the eyes, finally. Don't get me wrong, like I love like doing the eye thing, but it takes forever when you're doing something very intricate and like nice. But beauty takes time, okay? I'm going to be using this Take Home The Bronze Bronzer. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Take Home The Bronze Bronzer. It's by The Bomb. And I, I find their little packaging so cute. It's um like 19... 40s, 19, between 1940s and 1970s inspired, like, don't at me on that, but like, it's very vintage looking small things, um, they have like, blushes and things like that, so, ooh, I actually love that, like, 
something I learned is that you don't want to like bring in your contour all the way because like the closer it is to like the corners of your mouth um, the older you'll look the thing so like and I already have a fairly small forehead I'm going to go in with my blush and highlighting palette it's one wonder 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 Ooh, too bright uh, okay. actually let me, sh let me show you the colors real quick so they're beautiful so I'm gonna go be, be going in with this one first for the highlighter and then I'm gonna use a mixture of these two for the blush because they're pretty so yeah a little bit of that, and then just wow, look at that. Look at that. Okay. So pretty. Then I'm gonna be taking the brushes I showed you. The blushes I showed you earlier I'm just very lightly going over my cheekbones what I like is that it doesn't dull the highlighter and then I'll take a little bit with my a clean finger and then the highlighter. Wow, look at that. That is amazing. And then just on my nose. On the bridge of my nose. I just have a bunch of pinks. This one's destroyed. Ignore that. And that's the look. So I'm gonna already and do like a little makeup cool moment well that's it I hope you enjoyed this makeup tutorial and I'm not I wasn't very good with it but I hope you enjoyed anyways um I'd say this is more of a look for like New Year's um of course you could use any makeup palette you want you just need to have the right colors which are like pink purple and blue like all you pretty much need um and i subscribe like comment down below what other makeup looks you want if you want us to do more makeup tutorials uh if you want more like singular um makeup i don't know videos or just singular videos now and then, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just, just gonna be doing by myself. But yeah. Um, and wish Francia to get better in the comments down below. You know? So yeah.